work on without it. We got Carl. How you doing? Hey, uh, Hi. have you ever gone out of your comfort zone and gone into nature, been on your own with no friends around, nobody, just yourself, thought to yourself, who's behind all this? I'm talking about... Who's behind all, what? Just the Earth and how it rotates and the moon and how Why the lights come. I, I under, okay, why do you think the, the, the question should be phrased in the form of a who? Well, I mean, it's bigger than man, isn't it? Well, yeah, there's so lots an of elephant. stuff that's bigger than me. <laughs> so, what, so, what is a, so is a tree. Is a tree a who? The tr but the tree is part of what we live in. Who's behind okay, the but tree it's that bigger than man. It? That's okay. what you were just saying. You, so, you still haven't answered the first okay, question. Why do you say who? Well, I mean, can you answer that yourself? Uh, I'm no, so, we're, 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 we're saying the I question know. is wrong. Yeah, why did you say who? I agree that existence, the universe as a whole, requires an explanation. I right. just don't agree that that explanation is a who. Okay. So well, uh, you're starting with a question that is flawed, a question that requires some justification. If you want to say who is responsible for the universe, then you first have to demonstrate that it's actually a who and not a what. Well, I mean, uh, you just have to go into your own, uh, you know, into nature and find out that up for yourself. I've gone into you know? nature. I didn't find any who. <laughs> any what? Who. Is he under a rock? I mean, I've gone for hikes. You know who, the guy who's playing first? I mean, I mean, I mean it's not, I'm not trying to be funny or sarcastic. Here. Okay. It's a serious question I'm trying to okay. pose to you. Right, and yet you keep okay. posing it the wrong way. You haven't, what, what makes you think it's a who? Well, is it, it's not man. Who else is it then? Well, <laughs> it's not man, so who else is there? How about we? what caused the universe? You, so you, you believe in the Big Bang? Yes. So the Big Bang was just something. Who was behind the Big Bang? Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> who was behind God? God is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the perfect circle. Oh. Oh, okay. So there so is your argument. <laughs> If it's okay to say that God doesn't need a beginning, then it's equally okay to say the universe doesn't need to be a begin and doesn't need a beginning. And for all you people who think that, that, that we need to draw some causal line back there with a super intelligent being, Dawkins has a really good, Richard Dawkins, has a really good rebuttal to that, which consists of the probability. Now, we know that things tend to start simple and get more and more complex. We know this from evolution, which I'm sure some of you just cringed as soon as you heard the word. Um, but it's a fact. It happens. Evolution. Look it up. Go to talkorigins.org, read a damn book or something. Um, we know that things start simple and get more complex. That's just the way things work. So the Big Bang Theory is relatively consistent with that, where you have a singularity that explodes creating the universe and this is you know there's a whole bunch more and I'm not going to get into science because I'm not a quantum physicist but the thing is what you people who think that there was some body behind it some intelligence now you have created a system where before there was anything there was this super intelligent being who who's all powerful and doesn't need any any Creator. Infinitely complex, yeah. much more complex than the universe itself. By definition, and, has to be more complex than the entire universe. And when, we, and when we ask, where did that thing come from, or who created that thing, you say, oh, it's the Alpha and the Omega. It's that a, answers it. It's a perfect circle. It always was. Well, okay. And, you know, I, I prove it. If you can't prove it, if you can't show how it's remotely relevant, um, you know, like we've had callers who, who, who buy into that argument but then don't believe in a personal God. So, they, they, you know, you've got some kind of panentheistic or deist who thinks that, well, there must have been some super intelligent being who created the universe, but he stays out of it and leaves us alone. Then why should we give a crap about it? That's a useless God. Oh, but no, he was the prime mover. He got this started. No, no, no. You're starting by asking the wrong questions. When you ask who's responsible for the universe, you're starting by asking the wrong questions. Start by thinking about things in terms of what is the explanation? Because that way, the explanation could be a who or it could be a what. And you haven't prejudiced yourself against what answers are possible. As soon as you start with who, you've already narrowed the field. You've already, by definition, eliminated some options, options which may be viable. What we're saying is don't eliminate those options. Start with the right question. 
How did this happen? What caused this? Look through possible explanations and then accept the one that is the most reasonable and best supported by evidence. If your justification is, well, you just got to take it on faith, you can say that about anything. Your God that you believe in just based on faith is completely indistinguishable from any other God, any other belief, any other hokum nonsense BS answer that anybody could possibly come up with, including that the fairies who live in my underwear drawer created the universe five minutes ago and gave us all memories and created the light en route. That theory is just as good as yours and it's got just the same amount of evidence. Believe that. Look for the right question to start with. Was that a good rant? Sure.